In the other lesson, or the other video for the same lesson, we worked mostly on uh, examples A and B in the text. Examples C and D actually review those two, but go a little farther with them. And I want to kind of review what they're talking about there, or explain what they're talking about there uh, in that more in-depth study. What's going on is if we take a look at the, the first expression from example A, we had 4x minus 2 over 2x squared plus x minus 1 and when we reduced or when we um, factored that we came up with 2 times 2x minus 1 over 2x minus 1 times x plus 1 and if we look at this expression at this point there are two values that x cannot be x can't be uh, positive 1 half because we get 2 times a half which would be 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 so x can't be 1 half and it also can't be negative 1 because negative 1 plus 1 would be 0 so there's two values that x can't be at this point but if we continue on from here and then take the same expression um, rewrite it down here we get 2 times 2x minus 1 over 2x minus 1 x plus 1 and then we cancel the 2x minus 1 top and bottom which is perfectly valid then we end up with 2 times or 2 over I mean x plus 1 and now there's only one value x can't be x just can't be negative 1 oops I put positive 1 up above I shouldn't have I should have put negative 1 up there sorry about that um, x just can't be negative 1 here. It doesn't say anything about and doesn't show anything about the 1 half. But since this is expected to be a uh, simplified version of our original expression, those two things should be equal. They should be equivalent. And anything that doesn't work in the first one shouldn't work in the second one. This really, from uh, you know, to be technically correct, is not the same thing as what we started at because we're not specifying in here that you can't use one half. So if you are working on an uh, expression like this, you need to make sure you're going step by step. And each step along the way, anytime you find an excluded value like this one here, one half, you need to take note of it because if we finish out our problem, get it completely simplified, we need to make sure that as we write in and sort of describe what we're left with, we make note of those other values. So we would say in this case 2 over x plus 1 where x is not equal to 1 half. In fact we could also say it's also not equal to negative 1 but hopefully anybody that sees this will be able to tell right away that that was the case because you can see that negative 1 would make that 0. So we call that value, um, this in this case the 1 half, x equals 1 half is an, a, a, a removable zero. V A B L E removable zero, because we found that it was a value that x couldn't be early on, and it didn't show up at the end. When we were done with our uh, simplifying. So as you're going through the simplification on these problems, make sure you keep note of anything you see along the way that can't be, and put it back in at the end. Let's take a look at one more example here. And this example is uh, brought up in example D, and it's really uh, from uh, example A, part B. And that's this uh, x squared minus 2x plus 1 over 8x minus 8. And again, if we go through and simplify this, we end up with um, 8, or I'm sorry, x minus 1 times x minus 1 over... 8 times x minus 1. At this point we can see that the only value x cannot be is positive 1. So we have x can't be positive 1. And then we move on and finish simplifying this. So we take this down like we did with the last one and we write x minus 1 x minus 1 over 8 times x minus 1 and then cancel and this time we can see that our simplified version x minus 1 over 8 doesn't show any excluded values so we need to as we're writing our simplified version we need to say that the final uh, simplified uh, description of this is x minus 1 over 8 where x is not equal to 1 because that 
takes into account the original uh, sort of layout the original version of that expression.